All right, welcome back. So we are going to do uh, the tomb, tomb, <laughs> tomb, tomb of Sargeras, and I'm doing uh, looking for raid. Right, so you know, you know. So we're doing, I guess, Chamber of Avatar. I queued into all of them. Chamber of Avatar is the one that uh, popped up first. It sometimes takes a while to find them, so I just figured it'd be easier just to queue up for all of them. I've never done these before, so I really have no idea what I'm doing, but. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad, right? Oh, yeah, let's see this. Um, shouldn't be too bad. Oh, gosh. Okay, so I should not get knocked into that pit. That'd be really bad. I'm gonna avoid that. Um, yeah, so anyway, I hope everyone had a nice Thanksgiving. If you're from the U.S., if you're not from the U.S., I hope you had a nice Thursday, which is probably a pretty normal Thursday for the rest of you. Uh, anyway, so, two of us are Garris. <clears throat> okay, oh. Or let's not get hit by... Let's see this. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, yeah, so I don't know. We'll see. I've heard I've heard you can wipe in the Tomb of Sargeras and looking for raids. Like, uh, as opposed to uh, a lot of the other looking for raids, like, yeah, I don't really think wiping is something that happens very much, but apparently that can happen here. I don't know if it's... I'm ready. The Maiden of Vigilance. Okay, first boss. Wow, that was really fast. We got our raid... Raid check. That's really fast. Okay, so... Hmm. I did not get a chance to look at the... Actually, I should was looking at the ahead of time. I never get a chance to look at the, uh... The guide for these. But yeah, I can't imagine really wiping here, right? There's no way. Anyway, we'll, we'll find out. Uh, next, mass instability. Okay. So... I, I mostly wanted to run this because I hadn't ran Tomb of Sargeras yet at all, and I wanted to run it before uh, before the next raid launches, so at least I'm, I'm doing this while it's still technically the highest level raid, <clears throat> even though the next raid launches in a week or so, and then it'll be available in looking for raid mode in like a, two weeks after that, I think, so. Uh, I will say, this boss seems to have a lot of health, I don't know. Uh, Hey, if I'm... Uh, what do I do with this? Being struck by inheritance, okay. Um, I don't really know what I should be doing with that. This is, this is where I should have... Should have read ahead of time. Okay, I, I interrupted. I tried to interrupt once. I don't know if I did that very well. Uh, I'm big all of a sudden. Oh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Uh, I should really, I'm definitely like wiping the raid, and not wiping the raid, but like, uh, I should have been following something a little bit better there. Yeah, I should really read these before, like, I'll, I'll try and read the next boss before I get to the boss. But, yeah, I feel really, I, 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 I sort of, the other raids went so s relatively smoothly that I didn't, I don't know why I've got Blade Flurry on still, I didn't worry too much about uh, exactly reading the raids at a time, but I probably should have for this one. So, yeah, we'll see. I do have the inflatable Thunder Fury out, though, so that's kind of clutch. Uh, you know, that does like nothing, you know, but it looks good. It looks good. I did not see you will burn in power. You cannot comprehend. Uh, yeah, let's get over there. Oh, I got not. Yet. Oh, yeah. That's not good. Okay. <clears throat> um. I'm gonna die here. I jump into the pit when you have. Yeah, that's what I was. I was like thinking I need to jump into the pit, and I didn't quite get there. So <laughs> this is what I should read. Uh, the guides. Oops, that's not what I want. Adventure guide to Sargeras. Where are we looking on here? Main divisions. Okay. <clears throat> so now I okay. Uh put one table is about to expire. Okay. That's 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 what this timer is here, I take it. A little slow maybe on that person jumping in. Okay, that's the timer, right? I saw that. Okay. Okay. Flex activity their creator's grace or be touching fragments that match your infusion during Watcher's Wrath. Okay. Okay. Who could break the end bulwark and interrupt? Breath of Creators, okay. Okay. 
So the most important thing is this, definitely. Um, you will burn in power. You cannot comprehend. That seems like the most important thing, right? So definitely I need to avoid unstable soul, okay. I need, well not avoid it, I need to jump in the pit, right? Simple. And then collect these. Which one do I want? Hmm. Demon's Vigor, I guess. Oh, well, this doesn't really matter. Okay. And then the other boss coming up after that, I think, was Fallen Avatar. Am I right on that? Am I... End me, mortals. I think so. Then rob the deceiver of his prize. I can't. I can't release anyway. I, guess I, I keep thinking. I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting I should be able to release because I, in vanilla you could always release during a fight, but I recognize I don't allow you to do that here. I'll tell you what, and I, I knew that already, but I, I, I'm so going to use that. I, I'll tell you what. Jumping into the pit is counterintuitive to me, but I, I get it now. Uh, it just didn't feel right. I saw people doing that, and I was like, oh, I should probably do that. So let's release. The dark one. Okay, I'm back. Awaken. Oh, wait, where did we... I'm... I'm so confused. This is, like, mess... I'm, I'm like, failing miserably here, because I'm very confused as to why releasing sent me here... ...and where we are at. I, I guess this is where we need to... Phoenix, but first of all, this this room looks really cool. By the way, Let's take off the UI, but I don't really understand why I'm here. Just release, yeah, okay. So yeah, people are popping down here, okay. So then the next boss, let me. I'm so sorry to this raid group. Um, fallen avatar, it's the next boss, okay. The encounter begins with a fallen avatar, immobile, trapped in a tight machinery, accompanied by the corrupted maiden of valor, okay. While salt in the ray, the avatar periodically attempts to energy. So then we must... okay. Okay. Players farther take less damage. Okay. And then, helps with the effects of dark mark. Okay. Brand's a target, cousin at least shadowy. So I need to move towards whoever's marked. With dark mark. I don't know if I should be this close to these things. I don't see a lot of other people up here in melee range, it kinda of scares me. I step away. I don't know why, I'm just like scared. I went they're gonna like explode. They're like little bombs, don't they? Okay. So I need to stand near the person who has dark mark. That makes sense. Okay. Avoid unbound chaos. Every one second, the target marks the current location. You scurry through this tomb like vermin, dispatching my underlings and imagining yourself the equal okay. of the legion. Ooh, kill Jade. Heroes, champions, fools. The hmm. husk before you was once a vessel for the might of Sargeras, but this temple itself is our. The means by which we will reduce your world to cinders. Still, I will not deprive you of this chance to fall before an ancient wonder. Let this avatar be the end of you. This guy's a really cool looking boss. So basically, move away during rupture realities, avoid... If I go near someone that has dark mark, and then avoid unbound chaos. And if I get Unbound Chaos, I need to move away. So move towards, Dark Mark, move away. Everything else. Okay. Take advantage of that. It's a very large boss. That's cool. Should I pull it? I'll just, I got this. I can pull this. Apparently, the person that had it was running to their left and I was following them, so that was my bad. So I was trying to avoid... yeah, okay. 
Uh, who should I be in here? Shadow Reboot. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. That was just a runaway, right? Maybe he doesn't really matter. Okay, okay. I think I got the mechanics roughly down, but maybe I should, should maybe it doesn't matter so much here. Unbound Chaos, okay. Oh. Alright, dodge the floor stuff, that's good. This is uh, quite a bit easier when you... Shadow Blades. Okay. A little bit easier when you actually read what you're supposed to do ahead of time and like review the fight, right? I wasn't go I'm not going in totally blind this time. And I'm not saying I'm doing a great job, but I'm saying I'm not actively blowing people up, which I was, I think, on the last fight. So, uh, yeah. Let's not do that. I feel like I was the newbie in against Baron Geddon. And I had the Living Bomb, and I didn't know what to do, and blew everyone up. Okay, let's dodge that. Okay, dodge. Huh. Alright. Let's run away from this. I'll keep shooting him though while I'm running at least. Might as well some damage. Okay, I, I, yeah, I just don't know if it matters that much. At least I can kind of port back in here. Like, it doesn't feel like I'm doing a lot. I only got a single... Uh, roll the bones. Buff. Can I Im be immune to that if I have my... Hook Shadows up? I don't think so, I doubt it. I didn't really get a chance to check there. So I guess the mechanic where he, like, breaks open the floor doesn't... Seem to what was that mechanic? Uh, I'm doing two things here at once. It's hard. Uh, hmm. Oh, I ran a little bit early from the rupture of realities. I thought he was casting it there, but I. Apparently, a little bit early on that. Alright, let's get back up here. There we go, that's a good roll the bones, that's much better. Feels good and you get a nice, like, roll the bones and everything. Okay. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to focus on, uh, not so much my DPS, which is probably not very good. I'm not top 5 for sure. Uh, oh, there we go, that's kind of scary. I was wondering when the floor is going to break open. That's fun. I'm going to do one of these little heals on myself. I'm trying to focus more on. Uh, oh, is Velen. On control of my character? Like, standing where I should stand? Who's marked? Who's marked? That guy appears to be marked? I think that guy's marked, but I don't know if it matters. I think I should just DPS. So, I, I think what I need to learn is less about focusing on my DPS. The DPS will come as long as I'm where I'm supposed to be. I, I think I need to learn. A little bit more about where uh, I need to be standing. Oh, uh, I guess we shoot him. <laughs> I was like, okay, there we go, there we go. I was like, I guess I'm just gonna shoot this guy now. Anyway, he's almost dead. Perfect. Okay, cool. Um, no loot for me. Dungeon complete. A few things there. Cool. The vision Sakara showed you was a lie, Kiljaden. Surrender! Let it end! Never! Our crusade will never yield! Savor your shallow victory. We will return again and again, however long it takes, until at last we break you! The portal is closing! We can seal the Legion's Gateway and end this invasion. No! No more running! No more <laughs> hiding! I must finish this! That one's a badass. Velen, Jeez. Stop! Sealing the portal buys us nothing much, meat. Whether it takes a few years or millennia, the Legion will return. Over and over again. Until too few of us remain to fight them. It 
is time yeah. to seize our fate. We must use the portal and follow the deceiver into the abyss. <laughs> it is the only way. I agree. It is the only way. Go, champions. We have precious little time to save Velen and return before the portal closes. Come. If we are to die <laughs> in the nether, we will take the deceiver with us. That's cool. I was like talking at the beginning, I didn't realize they were I didn't realize there was stuff going on, and then all of a sudden I was like, wait, is that Illidan's voice? My like my ears like tweaked a little, I was like, oh I think it's Illidan. And then uh yeah, it was Illidan. So now I'm waiting for uh the other two raids the pop or the three raids. I don't know which one will go next. I mean obviously I have no idea, but Open for a good one. Oh, let's go to Ashar. I'm going to work on the originals while I was waiting. I just did that the other day, I know. But Anyway, I will... What's this? Grow strong. Ah, yes. Oh, hey, there we go. Wailing Halls. So, Wailing Halls, I believe, is the first one. Well, no, second one. Okay, second one. Cool. So, we're going to get in there momentarily. Um. Yeah, so... Let's see. Okay, the first boss fight, I completely underestimated the... Not the complex... It wasn't... It, it, in looking for it, it's not that complex, right? I completely underestimated, though, that there were some mechanics that were important for me to pay attention to. How are we short one DPS? Come on. Just, like, accept DPS guy or girl. It's like, we got the healers, we got the tanks. We got 16 of 18... 16 of 17 DPS. There we go. Good. Just go. Whatever happens, just let us go with 16. That's good enough. Okay, uh... Once again, I should probably read these things a little bit. Admit that I am right. Break the body, and the spirit follows. Physical pain. Bah. Mental anguish is the true weapon. Was it not the key oh. to turning that case? Bah! It was the suffering I inflicted, which... Hold! The mortals come. Okay. I'm reading some stuff here. Stun. Like a five second stun. Ouch. That was a nasty stun, for real. I guess I should be targeting this person? Doesn't really matter, maybe. Uh, I can't, it seems like the Ray Deepest. That's stun. I don't know if this. I, I'm not sure who's stunning us. I, I didn't really see if that's that circle maybe that's hitting us, but it's a nasty stun. For real. That's a long stun. Okay. Not too bad. It's a warm up. Alright. I didn't actually get to read the uh, fight, so we'll see. I'd like to have these near each other so I can, like, AoE. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Basically, confess. You confess your actions. Against the Legion, the Demonic, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna full torment. How do I know if I'm full torment? Torment, 4%. If torment hands the hands of the Legion increases when you're struck by one of their abilities. Okay. So I'm probably not gonna get struck by one of their abilities, right? I see a lot of people over here DPSing. I'm gonna move over to this one. Interrupt Belek. I'll kick. Okay, that worked. Now we're on this one. Avoid taking an underground Belek during Bone Saw and Fell Squall, so you don't incur additional torment. Okay, so we don't want. Torment. Torment is bad. Got it. Okay. Bellic, switch targets. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Interrupt Bellic. Okay, I interrupted him. I got that. I can do that. I can, I can kick people. That's like one thing I can manage. I don't have interrupt. Okay, someone else did it. Good. Good. I guess we don't want to stand by the other guy right now because he's, uh, whirlwinding, which is never good. Is that whirlwind? Yeah, that's what you call it. Don't want to need that. Interrupt Bellic. Let's do it. Go. Someone else got him. Good. Good. Okay, I'm trying to interrupt Pings of Guilt, avoid standing your allies are inflicted with echoing anguish. Okay. I, I think I'm pretty good. Oh, I don't want to stand in that, right? Let's get away from that guy. He's literally on fire. <laughs> I don't think that's something fun to get. I want to stand behind him so I can... Yeah, there we go. I was just trying to stand behind him, but not in the little burning 
ring of fire from that other guy. I like switch targets, okay. Oh, don't want to stand there. Oh, no, nope, don't want to stand there either. Okay, okay. Uh, interrupt. Okay, you got interrupted. That's good. Okay, I think it's fine. I don't know why I don't want to stand here. I think it's okay. I was thinking, I was saying I don't want to, but I think I'm fine. Tormenting burst. I'm only about halfway up my. I gotta move this little torment thing. It's popping up. It's like right over my. I gotta figure out how to move that on my UI. Someone else didn't interrupt on that one, so I didn't worry about it. Uh. But I'm ready for the for the next interrupt. I thought that was an interrupt, and I I failed that really bad. I should have interrupted, but I used it preemptively, unfortunately. And it was on cooldown. Okay, don't stand there. Let's go ahead and heal. Uh, let's whack this guy. I believe these share health, right? Yeah, they share health. Okay, so they're literally equal health. Kind of interesting. Come tank the right boss. Kind of interesting. Switch targets. How are we doing? It looks like it doesn't appear that we're wiping. Oh, don't want to stand on that guy. That's scary. Interrupt. Okay, interrupted him there. That's good. I actually got a successful interrupt in that that time. Uh, I'm gonna vanish for a moment. I, I it looked for a second there that I had aggro from him. I don't know if I'm mistaken. There we go. I can move that out of the way. I was like, how do I move that? It's interrupt. Okay, got the interrupt going. Interrupt. Someone else got that interrupt really fast. Well, wow. some of these interrupts are really quick. Like, it's impressive to me how fast they interrupt things. Seventy-six decks of torment. Okay, okay. And like I said, I don't want to get to hundred. I think that's a bad thing. So let's just kill these guys before that happens, and we'll be good. We'll be good. I'll be good. <laughs> okay, switch targets. Got it. So in under, in other news, I uh, am closing in on 68. I've still got a few episodes left on my uh, Legion, my Legion Warlock, my Worgen Warlock, and I'm pretty excited about. Uh, this seems bad. I, I feel like they shouldn't be on top of each other, right? We, we don't want that. I might as well AOE these. Uh, I mean, right? Like I might as well Blade Flurry. Maybe they, I don't like. You don't want them on top of each other, right? Because then if either one of them starts casting their like a like their close range AOE, they're just gonna get like smoked out. I think I need to do this. Yeah, this makes sense. Let's heal. Oh, okay, boss dead, right? Whew. Okay. Hammer of Kazgra. Okay, that was a really cool boss. Like, even for looking for Ray, that was a really cool boss. I really enjoyed that boss. I think, uh, I... I could see that being a tough boss. It reminded me a little bit of the Twin Emperors. I don't know if that... This is what it reminds everyone else of a little bit. That's I mean, so I don't have a lot of raid experience outside of uh, vanilla, but it, it kind of reminded me of the Twin Emperors a little bit, which is kind of cool. I oh hey, it's Illidan, Maeve, Maev. I should stick with the group. Um, but yeah, it reminded me a little bit of the Twin Emperors because you had like two bosses, and in this case, they had to die at the same time, right? Because they literally shared health. Whereas the Twin Emperors, they had it at the same time because if you didn't kill them around the same pace, then you would just end up wiping, because uh, it doesn't really work that well if you just come one at a time, unfortunately. Uh, but the, that was a cool fight. I, I saw the prison at the very, very end. Ooh, that's fun. I saw the prison at the very, very end. Um, I, I wasn't sure if I needed to click uh, the Repent, is that what it's called? Because it seemed like we are about to win anyway, but it, I saw like, like the, red, the, the red glow of the screen closing in on me, which I assume meant I would die if I didn't, uh, if that closed in all the way. So, yeah, I thought that was probably a good decision. Remember triggers an ancient protective spell. Okay, let's interrupt. I don't really know what this seems like a 
pretty easy pack of trash. I'm trying to interrupt him when I can. I, I assume I should interrupt. Like, I don't really see a reason not to interrupt him. Right? I mean, it's like, uh, um, I also have numbers on the screen, but I guess in like a parade you can easily pull maybe all these packs. Is that the idea? And just faster than instead of doing them like pack by pack. Oh well, I'm gonna die. Nope, I'm okay. Let's kill this one. Oh, this kills one in the back here. Someone's gotta kill it, right? Can we stun them? No, we can't. Okay. Huh. I like killing off the single ones that are just like hanging out by themselves. It seems like it would be a good idea to take care of them. Yeah? You know what? Screw it. The raid's leaving. I'm leaving too. Let's loot. Alright, out we go. Spectral Dust. Seems like something that would be an enchanting reagent. Oh god. I was like, oh no. I fell behind the group again. That would not be the first time I've done that in a raid. Hmm. Okay. There's a lot of these. Umbral Priestess, Umbral Archer, Lunar Priestess and Umbral Archer. Huh. Hippogriff Lord Vara. Is that a boss or just... Hmm. Let's read ahead on the next boss. I, I actually looked ahead. Uh, da, da, da. Sisters of the Moon. The Moon are trapped in a fading incorporeal... Oh yeah, we got the big guy. Alright, let's, let's focus him, I guess. Alright. Seems like I might as well. I went ahead and popped cooldowns because it seems like we're going to be a while before we get to the tr boss anyway. So I might as well use them. I've got nothing else to do. That rogue that's in like 5th on DPS, which is not me. <laughs> Definitely not me. And that rogue is probably really enjoying uh, some Blade Flurry uh, DPS right now. That's my guess. Okay, uh, so I'm trying to read this while I take on trash, which probably means I want to do bad at both. Uh, if targeted by Rapid Shot, move to the light side of the moon to clear stacks of Umbra. Okay. We still got the boss? Oh, not bosses, mobs? But okay, okay. This must be the Priestess? That's a lot of health, so yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, if by the moon burn, move to the other side of the moon. Okay. So basically, I keep moving to other sides of the moon. Defeat the moon Talon before Deathly Screech becomes... Lethal. I love health moon talon. Yes, reaching. Okay. Oh, we're going. We'll turn off blade flurry. I don't. I don't see the moon. I don't. Like I don't see what the light side of the moon, the dark side of the moon is here. So. Hmm. Apparently I was wrong about my cooldowns, by the way. We, we are in the boss fight well before the cooldowns are up. I, I don't... I guess the moon is just literally the... Like, the, the shadow there? Like, on the... Huh. I, so the whole floor looks like the moon, right? And the whole thing looks like it's a light moon right now. So my question is, where do I move if I get it? Like, I don't see anything that represents a dark side of the moon. Oh, now I see. I see. So it's like, is that is that it? Like this uh this dark part here? That stage two. Um. Okay. Hmm. I guess we should kill the moon. Oh, I don't want to stand that. That looks bad. Okay, so I've got a bunch of stacks of Umbra. But I don't see another side of the moon to stand on. Hmm, okay. I honestly, I, I, I should really watch some of these fights ahead of time. It kind of spoils it though. And maybe I should, or I, I, obviously I'm relying on other people knowing what they're doing, right? So I am totally riding on the coattails of people that know what they're doing. If it wasn't for them, I would be in a lot of trouble here. Okay, I was just switching to the color of the moon there. Just, I, I, like, I think I'm getting it, but... 
I'm, I'm definitely like taking advantage of the people knowing what they're doing. Because if they didn't, and if everyone knew as much as I knew, they would definitely be wiping. So I kind of went into it assuming that people knew what they were doing. But. Hmm. Alright, so I need to get to the other side of the moon. Maybe I need to send this darkness for a moment. There we go. That wiped that. Okay, good. Alright, I'm getting how to get rid of the debuffs. It makes sense. It's a lot of absorptions there. So, so the point I was trying to make was that a lot of this I don't quite know what all the little symbols on the ground are. Uh, a lot of them seem bad, so I try to avoid sending them too much. Alright. There we go. Okay. Cool downs popped, which is nice. This seems like a fight. Ooh, ouch. Uh, I need to stand on the other side of the There we go. Okay. Hmm. This looks like a fight that rogues should do well in. Like, like it sort of feels like, looking at the DPS in there, by the way, one of those mages is like ridiculous. Uh, but otherwise it kind of looks like a fight that rogues should do pretty well with. I think partially it's because if I Cloak of Shadows, for example, like I have Cloak of Shadows, I can... It seems like it's working well to clear my debuffs. Um, which means I don't have to like run around and like clear the debuff every now and then if I just use that. If I should not get hit by those glaives, because it's probably bad. Uh, let's avoid those. <clears throat> I try not to use extra, from, extra healing from my healers. Alright, that, that, that uh, path there seems like something I shouldn't stand in. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Any more raid awareness to need to work on? That's what I was saying, though. So I need to work on. It's not. Uh, it, it matters less to me. Hold on, I'm gonna wipe, wipe there fast. What's that little. Huh. I don't know what the little portal is. It's a demonic gateway. So I guess we got a demon. A uh, warlock's doing that? That's cool. Um, I don't know why I had Blade Flurry up. I have a bad habit of doing that. What I'm saying is, of all the things I need to work on, it's, it feels like just raid awareness and positioning of my tune should matter more than anything else. And the DPS will come. If I, you know, if I'm in a, the right spot, when I need to be at the right spot, I won't be wiping people, and I will also probably be doing enough damage as when I need to. Twelve stacks of balloons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. That's there. You go. All gone. All right, priestess. Luna Spire. It's almost dead. And there we go. Cool. That was fun. Oh, what I get? Lunar Wrath Headgear. That would be a downgrade. Yeah, that's okay. Ooh. Fun boss, though. Okay, that, that, that boss had a lot of mechanics involving positioning, right? Like, like positioning was very important there. I think it would matter more if I were, uh, I think it would matter a lot more, what am I saying? It would matter a lot more if, uh, if we were in like a higher raid difficulty, but for looking for raid, it still seemed like it had eh, a fair amount of mechanics. Wow, a 97, a 96, a 93, and 88, that's a good rolling. Wow. Like seriously, that's a pretty good stacks of rolls there. Let's get Blade Flurry Black up, black up back up. Uh, yeah, I seem to be stuck. Am I stuck? It would reduced by 100%. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Well, I'm vanishing out of that madness. I probably shouldn't go that far up ahead of the group. <laughs> I'm not gonna get let that hit me. That's, that's lame. I'm not getting stuck to 100%. Uh, movement speed reduction. I, like, I didn't feel like I was rooted. I didn't see anything that signified being rooted. Uh, interrupted. But I wasn't moving. <laughs> I was like, oh, that debuff explains why. Yeah. Got it. Okay, ooh, nice. Thanks for the boost. What is that? Hmm. Bear form. Super bear form? That's cool. I guess the next room is the Desolate Host. Okay, that's the final boss of this wing. Cool. And that'll be two of the four wings. I'm guessing the very last wing is just kill Jaden. Kill Jaden, right? That would be my guess, kind of like Gul'dan was the last boss, the only boss, in the instance that his name is suddenly escaping me, so I don't remember. Wow, that's a long silence. I will just auto-attack, then. I guess? 
Huh. There we go. I'm not silenced anymore. Thank you. Uh, so I recently watched Stranger Things 2 with my wife. Uh, she's never seen the first season. She wasn't even planning to watch it. But then I was watching... Uh, run Away? I should probably run away. It says to run away. Anyway, I was watching... Uh, I watched the first season without her. She never, it's not her kind of thing. She doesn't really like, you know, sort of creepy, scary things very much. Fair. Uh, so I watched the first season. I liked it. Season 2 came out. I started watching it. I got about three episodes in. And then she wanted... To watch it with me or she was like yeah, kind of around she's like oh, i'll watch it um so anyway we watched it and i i liked it i thought it was good um apparently that's the runaway but i liked it i thought it was fun it's a, i feel like it's a good i don't know it's not like amazing i mean it's it's good it's really good i enjoy it but it's not like ch changing my life level of good but it's good and so i enjoyed it um i don't want to go into any spoilers but it's fun. It wasn't ridiculously cliffhangery, right? So that's kind of nice. Sometimes, you know, some shows really like to put throw some huge cliffhangers on. It's that's oh, okay, but I am so tiny. There we go. I'm not tiny anymore. That was a big trash pull. Okay, um, I like to stealth up. I don't know about you guys. But whenever I raid, if I think about it, if I'm not like so far behind the group, like everyone's moving so fast, I don't really like to be stealthed up. I feel safer. Engine of Souls. Okay. Ghastly Bone Wardens and Reanimated Templars. What is this? What is what? What are these things? If I click it, Spiritual Font. I feel like I'm gonna use it if I click it, right? Soul Well. Man, that thing is kind of creepy looking. Oh, you're calling. Didn't realize that. Okay. Hmm. I guess I'll fight this guy. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't read ahead. I just realized I. I should have been doing that. Okay. Let's 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 change it. The desolate host. Okay. If inflicted with soulbind, quickly move to another similarly affected player in the opposing realm. <laughs> uh. Okay. I don't know if it makes sense to kill this little guy or not, but I guess we should, yeah. Okay, let's start just cranking out all the DPS, as much DPS as I can. <laughs> for, for, you know, what I'm capable of doing. Soulbind on me. Who do I, who do I go to? Who can move to another player in the opposite realm? I, I don't know. I don't know where the other realm is. Um, I'm very unsure. I'm so gonna die. Okay, maybe it's gone. I. All right. <laughs> uh. Okay. Let's heal. Which I don't know if it's really ever a good use of my mana or my mana, my energy. Right. I don't know if it ever makes sense to actually use. Uh, what is it? Crimson vial when I'm in a raid. Like I, I feel like that maybe is a net negative. I don't know. So what I'm trying to do is stand over here so I can also blade flurry. There we go, perfect. So I could blade flurry at the same, like hit those targets that are nearby me and hit the big guy, which seemed like it was working well. Um. Okay. Seems like we're doing okay. Okay, I don't have any deaths yet, that's important. Uh, yeah, okay, good, good. Silenced. I'm going to cry or something, what do I do? Uh... I didn't actually see, read that far ahead. I don't want to stand in that self list right here. Tormented Cries isn't actually listed here at all, right? Anyway, so I'm, I'm like trying to read while I'm supposed to be raiding, but... Oh. You know what's really bad? So, I, you know, that might be bad enough that I'm doing this while reading, like trying to read the adventure guide. 
at least I'm not playing Dota. Like, I don't know if anyone else remembers this being a problem in, like, Burning Crusade vanilla days, but people in the guild, like, playing, ooh, playing Dota, when they should have been, like, raiding, or they were, like, were waiting outside to get in the raid, and they were playing Dota. I don't know if remembers that problem. I'm talking, like, Warcraft 3 Dota, right? Like, not, not, not Dota 2. I'm talking Dota All-Stars, so, like, super classic here. If you are a spirit, get to the left, FF. Yeah, okay, got it. Okay, yeah. Okay. Someone, oh, no, I was like, someone just died? No, it's just, there was a mob. There was a mob. These guys have so much health, holy crap. It kind of, it's crazy how much health they have. And, like, it's not so much they even have health, It's a, it feels like a long fight. Especially for looking for raid. I don't know what I should expect from looking for raid, even after running everything looking for raid so far. Almost everything. I don't know what I should be expecting, but it just feels like a long fight. Um, I've heard that... Was it killed Jaden or Gul'dan? Gul'dan, maybe? Can be a... Oh, don't want to stand there. Can be a 15, to, 15 or 16 minute fight on uh, Mythic. And I don't know if that's like common or if that's just like average or if that's something else altogether. Uh, but, you know, honestly, like, Cthune back in Vanilla was... Gosh, I, I don't remember exactly how long Cthune took, but it was at least a 10 minute fight, I would say. And I mean, now, if you were well geared and, like, you had a good group and you were, you know, had all your uh, elixirs and things, uh, maybe not quite so long. Flasks, if you're 10 out of elixir flasks, eh, maybe shorter. But I could see it legitimately taking, like, 10 minutes. Otherwise, I don't stand in all this stuff. So I'm gonna look at Shadows and get over here. Permanent Cry is not on me. I've been trying to watch that. Not on me. And dead. Cool. Uh, what do I get? Ooh, the Gates of Hell. Um. Uh, yeah. I will go as soon as this chat is done. Okay. The Gates of Hell. What is... Which one is that? Alright. That's perfect. So if we do the Gates of Hell, then Deceiver's Fall is the only one. Yeah, it says Kill Jaden is the only boss. So I will only need um, Deceiver's Fall next. Oh yeah, and Taurus. That's what it is. So in Taurus, I guess, comes out in about a week. I think it's like the first week of December or something. Let's leave this. Gates of Hell. Oh, I want to click that. <laughs> so uh, it comes out like the first week of December, I believe. Enter Raid. Okay. There we go. Let's let's do that. In the meantime, I'll pop over here and see if I can tag a quick as a Regos kill. Um, what are they saying? So I think Tumas Argaris is only as you know is like the most recent raid for about a week, and then in Taurus, right? I just forgot the name. In Taurus comes out, and uh, in Taurus will be the last raid. Uh, da 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 da. Last, I think it's the last raid of Legion, right? There shouldn't be any other raids, if I remember correctly. Okay, not not until Battle for Azeroth, of course, which I'm really excited about Battle for Azeroth, because I'm excited to be able to actually level up with people and maybe be able to jump into content as it's kind of new. Whoa, that's a cool looking... Alright, let's get on this guy, I guess. I actually pulled aggro. Nice, good for me. Makes me feel, like, kind of cool. That never happens. Whoa. Cutscene time. Okay, what's going on? What? That is terrifying. Goroth. Okay, so that's the first boss. I should probably read up on this. Massive eruption. Run away. Okay. Hide behind infernal spikes, avoid being hit by infernal burning, okay. You can do that. And then avoid destroying infernal spikes when targeted with crashing comet. Okay, so I want to, yeah, I avoided that little infernal explosion, that's good. So if I get crashing comet, I need to just get away from everyone, I think, is kind of what needs to happen.
Okay, so basically I need to always hide behind Infernal Spikes unless I have Crashing Comet, right? Well, not always, but if I get anything on me, hide behind the Infernal Spikes except for Crashing Comet. Okay, Crashing Comet, just get away from everyone else. Five, Got it. Four, this kind of stuff is going to fall from the ceiling, I guess? Yeah? Yeah? Should be. Okay. I should probably stand on the tail, right? It's like... Raid 101, don't stand, but it's not a dragon, I guess, technically, but kind of looks dragon-ish. He's got a big tail, that's good enough. Alright, I see my Infernal Spike, that's good. Keep that in mind, because I want to run behind that. Infernal Spike. Um, no, okay, I think I'm good. I wonder if I can just, like vanish and not be targeted by his uh, thing he's going to launch at me. Can I do that? Probably not. That seems... Why do I play Flare Up? I always do that. <laughs> I've mentioned that like a million times in this episode already that I that I put uh, play Flare Up too much. Or I leave it up, I should say. Not even put it up. Alright, this seems good, right? How does it be here? Seem good. I think I did exactly what I was supposed to do, right? <laughs> Let's hide behind the spikes. Hope so. I'm sure the YouTube comments are going to crush me on this episode, which is totally fair. Totally fair. I do try to learn. I just usually don't do it before I go into a fight, because I, tr I just kind of prefer not to spoil things for myself. Which maybe isn't the best way to do this, but... Oh, excuse me. I'm gone. Oh, he's moving away. Okay, that's good. So he's got about a thousand million health left, okay. That's a lot of health. I hate we just now got him to have 50%. What is that? Is that mana? I, I, I never know what that little charging bar is there. 87, 89, let's see what happens when it gets full. Hmm. And that was bad timing, I uh... I used my cooldowns and then he did his infernal uh, burning. Yeah, infernal burning, that's what he did. That was too bad. That was kind of wasted, oh well. How's the raid? The raid looks pretty cool. We got, what do we got in the back here? We got a. Ooh. Oh, it's infernal spike. Yeah, look at that. I know what I'm doing. Kind of looking around, we got, uh, what do we have back here? It's hard to see over the butt. We got a Doom Guard back there casting some stuff. We got a Manatide Totem, or I guess he's not a Manatide Totem, maybe a Manatide Totem. What is that thing? A Goblin Mage. He's got some cool stuff on. I never look at the people that are with me, you know? I never take the time to see who they are. We never talk to each other. Battle Bros. the tank. The tank's dead. Ah, that's not good. Yeah, it seems like really bad, actually. Uh, who else do we have here? We got a. I think it's the same behind this. We've got a... Looks like a Torn Mage back here, is that true? Three, two, I don't know if that's true or not. Can no one b res him? Nah, no, it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> does not seem like it. Someone's asking if anyone can b res the tank. Nope, <laughs> apparently not. Because I don't see anyone doing it. It's fine. Oh, okay. Boss is dead anyway. Once you start seeing that thousand million go down to actual individual units that are counting down, it doesn't seem so, so scary. That was a fun boss. Neat mechanic. Looks really cool. It's like infernal, but a pit lord. Echo of the guardian Egwene appears, just as she did in the cathedral. I sealed each level of the. Ah, that's where it's going. So that no invader could descend into its depths. I never anticipated that the legion you would find another way my use of the to breach its dark heart. Sargeris. It was a necessary My protective tactic wards now bar your way. Each hmm. can only be Let nothing one stop of the you of from creation. doing what needs to be done. The demons will stop at nothing to prevent your advance. I saw in the minimap everyone was moving, but I couldn't see where they were going, and then I was like, the, the corpse was covering this little underground thing. Tunnel. 
Then we have Bring no the time to lose. Oh, jeez. Just as our the blessed are queen open. Use the pillars of creation to bypass Aegwyn's wards Slay before the, the Legion claims Take the Avatar. Take back what is ours. Okay. That was uh, some trash mobs here. Okay. When the boss casts a draw in, make sure to move to avoid being hit by moving pools of drenching waters. Okay, that seems like a pretty standard mechanic. Uh... Move out of the impact point of drenching slough. How do you say slough? Slough? I don't know why I should. I should know how to say that word, but I don't know. To avoid taking unnecessary damage. Okay. Just basically, dodge stuff. <laughs> I like the uh, the Murlocs spectating. Very cute. Okay, let's uh, kill this boss fast. This guy doesn't seem to have a lot of health compared to the last boss. Oh god, we have a murloc here. Uh, he's literally calling in the murlocs. Cool. I guess I'll help kill that murloc. It seems like getting the murlocs taken care of is important. Alright, turn off Blade Flurry. And hit him in the back. Hit him in the butt. Hey, did we go straight into the fight with the next boss? Because, I mean, she was right there. No, she's farther up, so it looks like we got a little more trash after this. Seems like if this would have been a four wings, you'd want the most trash on the first wings, and like less and less trash as you go. Seems like kind of the way to do it. I don't know. Uh, you know what? Let's go help out with this. Oh, I don't want to stand in that. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I was trying to help kill the uh, little murlocs, but then they got so far away. I don't want to stand in that. Okay. Well, let's not stand in those things either. Yeah, so most of the mechanics, a lot of the mechanics seem to just be like, don't stand in this or that, right? Or like, if you like me, just ignore it and stand in it. But, like, I'm not supposed to stand in it. Uh, let's go over here. That's better. That's much better. I will help kill some Murlocs. Uh huh. Yeah, there's doesn't really say for damage others to deal with the Murlocs, but I, I assume so. We have to, right? I don't know who else is going to kill them if we don't do it, so... Someone's going to do it. Alright. And then don't stand on that stuff there, which is like, that. Ah, there's people over there seem to be standing in it, right? It's, I guess they're pets? Yeah, those are pets, okay. Pets just probably... Auto move, you know, it's like unless you manually move them, but you probably got other things to do as a hunter than deal with your pets. At least that's my guess. All right, pop to my big cooldowns. So it's not standing that draw in stuff over there. Okay. What is this default? Flicking cross damage, oh, okay. I don't want to stand this stuff, let's move over here. I, uh, I like the hook shot, uh, I always call it hook shot, the grappling hook, right? Yeah, it's nice, I like it. So, I, I remember people were recommending that for me for the longest time, they're like, hey, get, get the grappling hook, get grappling hook, and I kept sticking with the 15% increased passive movement speed. And like, I was like, oh, it's just easier, I don't have to worry about learning how to use the grappling hook, I am just good with my 15% increased movement speed. Which, seriously, was like super fun to have that, but at the end of the day, uh, I definitely wish I had gotten the grappling hook earlier, because it's amazing. Like, I don't know if it's actually that amazing, but it's super fun. I use it for all sorts of goofy things. Uh, I guess that would have been time to use it there, chase down the boss, but... Oh, both the tanks are dead. Hey, that's, that's not good. I'm going to vanish, so that I am hopefully not at the top of the... Are anywhere near the top of the, ag the aggro list anymore? That's not standing and draw in. I assume we can just like brute force the boss down at this point. Like, the, like the help, eh, you know. I don't think we can kite it around as necessary. We're, we're pretty good here. I'm gonna kill the little guys. Tank's dying. I'm okay with that. File. We have so many of these to file. <laughs> I have so many. Hmm. 
Like Warlock realize they can they have a B res too. Soulstone is a battle res. <laughs> Someone's uh d d deliver or deliver deli deliver from Tychondrius. Is a little upset with the warlocks. Eh. I don't have battle res. I'm a rogue. I just mooch off everyone else. That's been the rogue way since 2004. Uh, where do I go? Apparently here. And then here. I don't want to take fall damage. See that. Much better. Now apparently the next boss is a few poles away it looks like. Hmm. All right, here we go. Uh, here we go for the trash. <laughs> oh, little big murlocs. Uh, let's go ahead and kill all these. I don't know about you guys, but everyone, I, does anyone actually dislike murlocs? Uh, is there a single person that enjoys the World of Warcraft and actually doesn't like murlocs? Uh, I feel like everyone kind of likes murlocs, even if they're a little frustrating sometimes to fight for various reasons. I don't think anyone just like, oh yeah, I hate murlocs, right? I think that's not a thing that actually exists, to my knowledge. I, uh, I'm sure someone out there is going to be like, yeah, I hate murlocs, but, I mean, like, deep down inside, I think everyone likes murlocs, so. That's, that's what I'm going to believe to be the truth. Okay, well. Undersea Custodians. Hmm. They look kind of cool. Don't really know what they do. Oh, they look cool. Stunned for six seconds. Yeah, I probably should have ran away when it said to. Stunned for five seconds. Chain stun's gross. Really gross. On the bright side, not that dangerous of mobs. I'm gonna run away a little bit. See if this gets me out of range. That's stun. Okay, looks like they got stunned, but not me. I think I'm good. Nice. Okay, yeah. So I should really run away when it says to run away, and then I won't get stunned for five seconds. That, that'd be nice. Okay. And then down we go, or pretty much there, I bet. Maybe one more pull. Mistress Sass... Sassine. And for this boss, I avoid being struck by slicing tornado to prevent unnecessary damage. Okay. Four befouling ink... To bring, or bring, bring, I was like, what? Bring Befouling Ink to Saurukel the Unending Hunger when he opens his Devouring Maw. Sprays Ink Clouds about, uh, about sticking to players who enter them. Ink Clouds inflict 161,000 shadow damage every two seconds. Okay. So the basic idea here is to bring the Fowling Ink to Sarukel. Sar Sarukel? Sarukel? Oh god, I don't think we're ready. Um, people are just saying, let's summon the tank before we pull, and we just pulled, so... Uh, let's just not stand any of that stuff. Yeah, seem okay. So I wonder if Sarukel will show up or not. Um, Murlocs everywhere. I just stunned that Murloc just for funsies. Let's dodge those things. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to start DPSing again instead of running around circles. I'm just going to cloak of shadows to avoid all that damage, I think. It seems like Blade Flurry is actually kind of useful here. It seems like there's quite a few other mobs being summoned. Uh, is it? Is it? Am I, am I right in saying that this mob, this boss, was not easy to kill on like Mythic the first time through? Like like raids, it took a while for raids to get through it. This, I, I don't really know why, but I get the feeling this is a tough fight in heroic. Um. Oh, let's do one of these. 
I still can't help but like instinctively vanish from time to time. Just like to clear my oh oh I don't want to stand in that. I should get away from that. Okay. But something about this boss fight just seems like it's actually kind of a difficult boss fight. I don't really know. Oh, I should probably heal a little bit. Sure. Let's stand behind the boss. It's like Rogue 101. As best I can. Find the back of the boss. And yes. Dodge the attack of Thunder and Shock. Okay, I can do that. Uh, let's move out of the way of all that. There we go. Now, the boss is not even at 55% health yet. Um, which, I don't know why, just there's a lot of little things being summoned here. Uh, some AoE stuff going on, or that like stuff that moves across the, some projectiles, I guess you should say. And somehow all that together just makes you feel like this is actually a boss that would be um, kind of tough to clear on heroic. I mean, I'm sure a lot of these bosses are tough, but I'm saying that this, this seems like a tougher boss than average. And now this is the last of this wing, so I assume it is somewhat of a milestone boss, but I don't know. I, I'm, I, to be honest, I haven't really watched Mythic stuff yet. That's one of the things I want to do, is once I finish uh, looking for Raid in this um, for Tumas Argaris, I'd like to kind of look at all the Mythic fights and find some videos and just kind of watch them, at least see what they look like, because I don't really have a good concept of how difficult uh, Mythic raids are. So it'd be fun to kind of look through them and see. Devouring Maul. Okay, I don't know... Hmm. I'm getting sucked into that Devouring Maul thing over there. Hmm. Am I immune to that if I... Nope, okay. I was wondering if I... Uh, Cloak of Shadows. If I use Cloak of Shadows, would I be immune to that? like that vacuum effect from the Devouring Maw, but it didn't seem like I was, so... Nope. Definitely not. Crashing Wave dodge attack, yes. Do that. I guess that's Crashing Wave. Ooh. That's the big... I didn't, I didn't see that guy actually jump around before until just now, so I don't know if I just missed it or what, but... That's the first time I noticed that. Hmm. Okay. Well, down to like 15% almost, so I think we're in good shape. Only one death, and it looks like a DPS. No one really cares about the DPS. Let's be honest here. You guys are like the most... The most uh, expendable of all <laughs> group members in a raid. It, it is matter the least. I mean, what can you say? They just, they just really do. There's more of them, that's probably why. You know, like, if you lose one of 15, it doesn't matter. If you lose one of two in the form of the tanks, that kind of hurts. That kind of hurts. Has anyone gotten sucked in there? Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, who decided to saw someone die? Who was that? Uh, where's that mouse? Art and art. Okay, uh, I didn't really get a good look. <laughs> that's really funny. Imperitin. Imper Imperitinte. Died. I just saw, like, the, the torn run over there and just blow up. Like, just literally just get sucked into the corner and die. Which is actually kind of funny, I think. Okay, Gates of Hell, done. Um, I think that's it. For the, for this, yeah. I think I can leave, and now I'm just waiting to run in to kill Jaden. On, um, I am... Glitched, and that's really gross. Look at, look at. Oh, it stopped finally. <laughs> I really need a new new hat so badly. I need to transmog that. That thing is so ugly, in my opinion. So now I'm just waiting for uh, a tank. That's all we need, just a tank, and then and then kill Jaden. And you know what? Before I get into it, I will read. Uh, where is it? Da da da. Tumas Ogaris. Kill Jaden. Okay. Interrupt malignant reflections. Creates a pool of soul anguish that grows as long as the caster is channeling. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. So interrupt those guys. Okay. That's them. It's, that makes sense. I'll keep kick up. Keep you ready. Avoid the effects of darkness of a thousand souls by moving close enough to the rifts created by tear rift to be affected by gravity squeeze. Okay. So, when I see Darkness of a Thousand Souls up, I need to move towards a Terror Rift. Got it. Or a Rift. And then, um, 
Move it to Argon Randoid. Argon. Okay. So someone's got a hit by. Um, So someone is a standard of the rain, but not everyone just need one person to? That makes sense. Oh, hey, Azaragos in combat. Let's go snatch a quick kill on Azaragos. Is anyone fighting Azaragos? Is it just like... These little things, Amethyst Crystals, I forget what they're called. Drain and Amethyst? I don't remember what they are, but they're, they're for a quest. I just can't remember what the quest is called. Uh, there's like three people here. Sure, I can help with that. Okay, well, I just got sucked into Azaragos. And I got stunned, that's not good. I, as I put my cooldowns, I, uh, Azaragos st sucked me in and stunned me, so that was, that was bad timing. Oh, uh, my, my bad. <laughs> Let's not stand behind the tail, gotta remember to do that. Uh, my friend Gray reminded me to not stand behind the tails of dragons. It's been a while since I fought a big dragon. I gotta remember that. I will the cook shadows, try and avoid a little bit of this damage. Stay here. Okay. And it's like a free bonus raid boss in this. Oh, I don't want to stay there. <laughs> it's like a free bonus raid boss for this uh, episode. No, what, what, uh, where's our tank? Timing queue, one hour and eight minutes. Okay, we just need a tank. We'll, we'll find one in a moment. We'll be good. Oh, stunned. That's not good. Let's heal. And let's get out of from underneath there. I'm going to vanish to reset my aggro. I hope that bear tank can handle things. I mean, it's interesting. So the boss has, you know, like 200 million health. So... Oh, I don't, I don't want to die. Let's not die. Stand away and just do some... Just shoot a little bit. While I wait for that to pop up. There we go. Much better. I love that mount, by the way, that long dragon mount thing. It's a very cool mount. I've mentioned it a few times, I've seen it before, it's, it's always cool. Oh, let's get out under the dragon. Not get eaten. Yes, we're almost almost gonna get in to kill Jane. We just need a little more time. We just need a little tank, that's all we need. Someone I, I imagine tanks are always hard to find. And I also need quite a mini face. What do I look like? Torin? Nice. I like it. I, I can go for that. I can dig it. Okay, let's heal. Thirty-five percent. Oh dear God, frost breath! No, I don't want that. Oh God, that's like coming. Like that's gonna hurt. I guess I just die now, don't I? Hey, I live. I should have a battle. I, I thought I had potions, you know, somewhere in here, but. Somehow I have lost all my potions. I do have somewhere in here. I'm so disconnected from my stuff over here. I don't... There we go. I was like, I know I have food somewhere. I was like, where's my food at? I was like, I haven't used food literally in months. Like, I don't remember the last time I've sat down to eat on this tune. On any tune. Why is Blade Flurry always up? <laughs> Why do I always do that? Anyway, so there we go. Alright, let's uh, get back in this right into the fight. I just jump right in. All right. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's not get frozen or stunned. That'd be good. Uh, as a Rego, such a cool boss. Look. At... Ooh, that's not good. No, oh, frost breath hurts really bad. Don't get hit by that if you can help it. <laughs> All right. Let's not stand behind the tail. I don't think the tail actually does anything as a Rigos, by the way. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure it doesn't actually do anything. Uh, maybe it used to. But it doesn't seem like this one does. I was standing behind the tail in my last episode of this character. You might have noticed I stood behind the tail quite a bit, and it didn't seem to do anything. So, which is why I kept doing it because I wasn't like worried about it because nothing seemed to. There was no consequence to my actions. How's our raid group doing? Still just short of tank. Okay, soon. Arcane vacuum. Here we go. All right. Got siphoned up. 
And almost dead, dead. I received 27 gold, 1 silver, and a copper. 27 gold. I've almost got my 100,000th piece of gold. That's, that's fun. Okay, well, we're going to pause the video here, and I'll be back once we get our uh, Kill Jaden group together in the meantime. You know what that means. We're going in with one tank. Okay, that's scary. Is that good? That seems scary, right? That seems really scary. Well, anyway. Hopefully we're going in. I'm sure a lot of people are like, what? No one take? Nope, I'm out. Maybe it doesn't matter. It seems, it seems like it should matter. Overview. Players engage Kill Jade, Kill Jade on his command ship, engaging both him and the shadow reflection of their comrade's souls that he turns to his will. At 80% health, he takes the sky, launching a punishing barrage of attacks on players, after which he re-engages the players with greater power. At 40% health, Kill Jaden wraps the platform in darkness, limiting players' vision to short range around them. This looks like a much more promising group setup. We've got actually... Oh, no, there goes our tank. Uh, okay. The players must find Illidan in the darkness, who grants the players his sight. Ah, mythic instructions. Great fighter. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if there's ever a fight that just like, just says tanks, tank, <laughs> you know, just like really oversimplifies, like tanks, take damage, you know, there's got to be a fight out there somewhere that's just like a really simple mechanic for tanks. Oh, come on. We're never going to get in there, are we? I just need, just need a healer and a tank to both at the same time agree. What's on here? I haven't actually checked this. What is this? Oh yeah, this is the, uh... This is the Thanksgiving event, which I haven't actually participated in yet. What was I supposed to do in this quest? Oh, hey. Uh, let me eject. Let me eject. I was like, oh god, I'm gonna, like, miss the instance because I'm eating at a table. Like... Let's not do that. Okay, I'm back. Ixel, okay, we're on a ship, got it, cool. We're on the Legion, I want a Legion warships. Prophet Felon, you're getting wrecked. Dylan's seriously awesome. Like, I, I feel like he he really works hard. I don't know. He's always putting in good effort, I feel like. I don't know. I like him. Is he up there somewhere? I don't know. I, I, I mean, it's not like he's being, like, tortured and or maybe he's just standing up there yelling, but he, his, his, he said, like, gra, like, as soon as he zoned in, G-R-R-A-A-A-H-H-H-H-H-H, uh, for the spelling, all capital letters. It sounded scary, right? Let's get up here. We'll lead the pack. We got this. Oh, I can mount. Um, let's do that. I got my Swift Strider. What's it called? Spring Strider. Swift Spring Strider, not Swift Strider. I knew that. I was like, yeah, that sound right. Uh, about to pull. Kill Jaden, just chatting with someone. Okay, kill Jaden. I never see the wings. I never envisioned him with wings. Like I saw that earlier, and I was like, "What is that?" I, I, I just never have thought of him as having wings. I don't know, I don't know what to say. Just, that's not what I envisioned him as having. Okay. Someone in chat just said, "I've never done this before." Let's remind myself. Kill Jaden. Interrupt the malignant reflections. Avoid the effects of darkness of a thousand souls by moving close enough to the rifts. Ready. Huh. 
Okay, so basically it's like a magnet that pulls those missiles in. Got it, okay. Alright, let's not wipe. Uh, and as an added bonus, um, there's apparently a cinematic after this that I haven't seen yet, so... Uh, for our friend just whispering me, letting me reminding me of that. I turned off Blade Flurry. That's Armageddon They're right there, I think. That, like, red glowy thing. And someone's standing in it, so that was perfect. I need one person to stand in it. I guess. Makes sense. Seems good. I'm I'm honestly really excited for that for a cinematic. I I I've always loved Blizzard cinematics. Okay, I will stand in one of these. All right, I'm doing my part. You know what? Let's, let's even. Oh yeah, I was immune to that. I, I put up Cloak of Shadows and made myself immune to it. I I don't want to say I'm one of the best rogue players in NA, EU, Asia, but I think I might be. I'm super psyched that I got that. Not only did I stand in it, Cloak of Shadows, which apparently gave me immunity. I don't know if that always works or if that's supposed to, if that is what actually gave me immunity, but I'm, I'll take it. Okay, we're at 80%. I'm gonna shoot him. It's like the Anixia Phase 2. Armageddon, okay. Hey, that person needs to get away from me. You got. Uh, I'm gonna heal. <laughs> yeah. That works. I'm gonna shoot him. Oh god, get away from me. Good spread there, good spread there. You see that? That was, that was nice. Everyone seems spread out pretty well. Alright, I'm shooting him. Doing my part. <laughs> Armageddon. Okay, I will stand in this one. Get away from me, guys, please. Nice, okay. Do we have some DPS on him or not? We have a little bit of DPS on him, but not much. Seems like. Right? Consume them all. We can whack him if he runs through there, right? There we go, okay. Uh, time to unload on him again? Yeah, there we go. I wanted to vanish once again. I, I can't help it. I, I have to, like... I feel like it's important to vanish. I don't know. But I didn't interrupt someone here. I don't see anything to interrupt. Play flurry time. Okay, I got it. Hmm. Okay. Seems fine. I didn't see anything to interrupt, though. They seemed inter uninterruptable. Maybe that wasn't the ones that need to be interrupted. The Eye of Sauron over here in the top left, the kind of Eye of Sauron-esque floating eyeball thing over there, it's fucking scary. Uh, oh, okay. Why did tanks change targets? Then? Armageddon, okay. I got this, I got this. Oh god. I'll get away. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be on that. Maybe, maybe I should let those people do it. That's fine. Uh, they got it. Alright. We only got two deaths right now. It's two deaths and it's almost half health. Uh, that's a good good rate of deaths per percent of health we drop on the boss. Armageddon. Is there any Armageddon? Okay, looks like everyone's got him. Good, good. Okay. Yeah, good job, everyone. I'm happy. I, I don't know. This, this seems like it's going really well. I, I don't know what I was expecting. But maybe something a little bit, a little bit less smooth than this. But this feels really good so far. Uh, I, I know, I know, looking for rate, but like eh, it feels pretty good. Um, am I one of these people? No, I'm not. It's like, am I? Am I? You know, it's nice. If I get that on me, I will just use my grappling hook and just like launch myself to this like back left corner or something. Like I am gonna mosey on out of here. Ah, these are the things. I can't see anything. Oh god. Do I need to find sight or do I need to find, like, sprint? <laughs> Illidan, where are you? 
Found him. Uh, how long do I need to stand here? I, I, I don't... I don't know if I should stand here for long or what. I, I feel like two more seconds, I'll wait till this is done and then... I don't know if... Well, I see targets over here. I'm just gonna hit these things. I, I'm not sure. I... Move to group. Hmm. Terrorist, okay. I, I, I don't really I don't think I understood how to do that Illidan mechanic in the middle of there. Is it a demonic obelisk up somewhere? Where is it? I don't see it. Anyway, I don't, I don't think I was doing that mechanic correctly. Something didn't feel quite right about it. Like I thought it was like gonna restore my vision, but that didn't seem to happen. Uh, let's not stand on all that. Okay, good. It's nice to see those big giant red rings, and then all of a sudden you see everyone kind of moves away, which is nice. Nice. Okay, I guess uh, you see like it, it people are spanning out, is I guess what I'm saying. That's good. That's a good thing. <laughs> and it's scary for that moment before that happens. Is that the, I don't know. I don't really know where the demonic obelisk is. Oh, I don't want to stand in that. That's uh, 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 get away from me. Okay, we're getting more deaths, that's nice. A little little extra excitement here at the end. Hopefully no important deaths, you know. Tanks, healers, me. Yeah, those things can all be alive, it'd be great. I need to roll the bones. Uh, that was okay. I want to play WoW with a controller. Some, something I've never really done. Uh, where, where's the terror rift? Is this the terror rift? Or am I making a mistake? I don't know. It's fine. We're, we're okay. We got this. I mean, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. Most of us are alive. And like I said, I'm alive, which is super important. <laughs> Probably more important than the tanks being alive, let's be real here. Uh, Alright, 100 million health left. It's not very much. I mean, it's really very little. 50. Okay, and. Done. Cinematic time. Okay. Our fates are now one. Oh, Tomb of Sargeras. At least we will have died fighting. Our war isn't over yet. Not where we hold the key to all worlds. Picker's just like, well, I guess we die. Eldon's like, uh, dude, we're like super powerful now, let's not die. I feel like Illidan has a good vision. I was always envious of you. Hmm. Your gift, your faith, your vision. I didn't anticipate. I never believed that Sargeras could be stopped. Perhaps. You will prove me wrong. Everyone, hmm. get ready! Like a last second redemption from Kill Jaden. <sighs> oh, good time in Kadgar. Seriously. Is everyone all right? Sometimes the hand of fate must be forced. Hmm. That's cool. I don't know if I really buy into Kill Jaden's last moment of like, oh, I never, I was envious of you. Oh, yeah. I feel like a big bad guy being like a suddenly envious, kind of lame. But it's okay. It is what it is. 
Uh... Oh, I don't know what just happened. Did I get loot? There? I don't even. I have no idea what just happened. I got this. Where am I? Observe and reflect. Um. Thomas Agaris is sealed. Okay. Uh, enter the Thomas Agaris and defeat kill Jaden. Oh, that's good. I, 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 I would like to do that someday. Whoops. My bad. Hmm. I have no idea where I am. I, it's just Thomas Thomas Agaris. Kind of curious. Just, what what just happened? Okay. Well, that was interesting. So I guess I'm still in the- I, mean, I know I'm still in the instance, but I was just curious if I could, like, go from here. It looks like we just got teleported down, basically, is what happened. Um, I think that's it. Just gonna make sure these guys don't have anything for me. Okay, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Cool, so, uh, I guess I can leave instance group. Okay, there we go. So that is the Tomb of Sargeras, apparently, on <laughs> looking for raid. Uh, I actually had a lot of fun with that instance, and a lot more fun with that raid than the other looking for raids I did, because I knew a little more what I was expecting, like I knew it was going to go fast. Um, and I looked a little bit ahead on some of the fights the last three uh, wings, at least, and that made it a little bit better. I regret that first boss in the first wing I did, where I was just like, ah, <laughs> like I blew up and probably killed someone along the way. Um, anyway, that was a lot of fun. I'm, I'm, really looking, I'm really looking forward to looking for raids, and hopefully actual, like, normal difficulty raiding at some point. But I'm really looking forward to, um, and Taurus, one way or the other. And hopefully I'll get some time to actually raid in there, in like a full, like a normal difficulty at least raid group. That'd be kind of nice, so that is on my to-do list at some point. But that is all for today, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.